All right, guys, before we learn how to submit a form, let us make some tiny tweaks in our current code. The first one is remove this unnecessary break tag. The second one is replace author with by. And in the ng model, replace author with by. Replace the type with email and add a break tag. And in our app.js file, change Chandler Bing to Chandler Chandler dot Bing at email.com and Joey to Joey at email.com. Now the tweaks were only to help us with our next video, so don't worry. Alright, now let's see how to submit our form. The first thing we want to do is include a submit button. So input type is equal to submit and value is equal to let's say add review. Now if you go ahead and save it, reload this, we have an add review button. Now in Angular we make use of a directive called ng submit to submit a form. Let us go ahead and add ng submit to our form tag. So ng submit. Now what ng submit does is it, it it tells Angular what has to be done when the submit button is clicked. So in our case, let us call a function called add review, which is going to add our form review to our list of reviews. Now if you notice, we have our form object, form.comment and form.by, but we never really initialized it anywhere. Now as a good programming practice, let us go ahead and type $scope.form and initialize it to an empty object. Now let us define our add review function. So $scope.addReview is equal to a function. Now if in the function we are going to add our form object which is our comment and uh, and the email to our list of reviews. So the reviews array. So dollar scope dot reviews dot push and we're going to specify dollar scope dot form. Go ahead and save this. Save the index.html file when we reload and type this is a new review and the author is ross at email.com now if you notice since the field is of type email it doesn't show up until at something is written in in the in the box so when we go ahead and click on add review we have a new review with the list of existing reviews. Now if you notice we have our comment and author still as our previous review what we just inserted and our preview still contains the data. Now this sort of is con confusing as it seems like a duplicate entry. So what we're going to do is go to our add review function and just reinitialize it to a blank object. So $scope.form is equal to blank. Save it. When you reload it and type this is yet another review and the author is ross at email.com. Now notice this time though add review is going to clear out our comment and author fields. And the last thing to notice here is we are not actually storing our reviews anywhere such as a database so whenever we click on refresh the newly added reviews are going to disappear. So that's how you submit a form. In the next video let's see some form validations. Thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll, I'll see you in the next video.